Basketball season is coming to an end, so that means the spring sports are starting to heat up. Our Chevy Spotlight takes us to El Campo, where the rice birds are looking to do damage on the diamond. The baseball season is young, so El Campo head coach Jacob Clay finds these teachable moments invaluable. All right, two strikes, is the game call for you to the bottom? No, it's going to be some one in play. His Rice Birds are coming off a 23-11 season and a year that saw them go three rounds deep in the postseason. Not only that, El Campo only lost one everyday player from last year's ball club. The experience on this team is one of the reasons bird ball is a favorite in 4A. We do have a lot coming back, and uh, and like I told them the other day, heck, man, I can't, I can't ride a lineup right now. You know, I mean, I don't, I don't know, I don't know who would be in it right now. So I'm never going to complain about having talent. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of coaches that would be, you know, wish for, for the talent I have right now. Clay is in his second year as a head baseball coach as he arrived from Brock High School along with head football coach Chad Worrell. The Rice Birds stumbled a little bit out of the gate trying to get adjusted to Clay's expectations, but it didn't take long until they were all on the same page. He was a new coach last year. Was, I mean, I wouldn't say it's an adversity, but just knowing how he did and stuff. But coming into our second year, we know how he wants and you know, our expectations are, so we can do those. We had growing pains just at the beginning of the year like our kids touched on and uh, they got to know me, they got to know my expectations and then now the expectations of our program and uh, I think at the end of the year, man, it, it kind of clicked and uh, we started playing really hard. This year's Rice Birds Ball Club is ranked fourth in Region 4 and is predicted to win 25-4A. The senior leaders won't pay much attention to those rankings. However, their opponents need to pay close attention to whoever is on the mound for El Campo. I think our pitching is honestly on a different level than it was last year. I mean, same thing with defense, kind of everyone has just stepped up, fulfilled the role. Everyone pretty much has at least one year under their belt at the varsity level. So I think everyone's just gonna keep going up from here. Our pitching is a strength, uh, definitely. Uh, if you saw the way we, we threw it, just the last four outings, I mean, it's, it's pretty remarkable. If we could keep this up, we'll be pretty tough out. Coach Clay said it took the Rice Birds to the middle of last season to learn how to win. That won't be a problem this year, as El Campo has one goal in mind. Get to the state tournament at Dish Falk Field in Austin, otherwise known as the Dish. Practicing hard, keep just get rid of the mistakes and focus on the next step and just work into postseason and get to the Dish. We want a chance to be there in the end. You know, we want a chance with that at bat to dogpile and go to the dish. And then we want a chance to dogpile on the dish. Uh, I think that's all you can ask for, right? Uh, you, that's all you can ask for at the end of the year is just have that opportunity to get there. And uh, hopefully it happens, we'll see. The Chevy Spotlight is brought to you by the Houston area Chevy dealers. Visit your nearest Chevy dealer and test drive our award-winning products.